two significant events were celebrated May 12th at the U.S. Department of Energy Savannah River site, located near Aiken, South Carolina. The Defense Waste Processing Facility, the nation's only operating vitrification facility, celebrated 20 years of operation at the Savannah River site. Additionally, the 8th Radioactive Liquid Waste Tank at the Savannah River site has been operationally closed. The final grout was poured into Tank 12 in April, marking a significant milestone in reducing the risk to the public, the workers, and the environment. Assistant Secretary for Environmental Management, Dr. Monica Regalbuto, attended the event to thank those who have played an integral role in successfully operating the Defense Waste Processing Facility and operationally closing another high-level waste tank. DOE of this nation appreciates you. The employees of SRR and all your subcontractors, side office employees, craft employees, engineers, research scientists, and operators. The work that you have done over the last years got us to where we are today. You have worked safely. You have performed your work admirably. And I am very proud to be here with you today. DOE Savannah River Manager Jack Craig said the combination of the Defense Waste Processing Facility's years of successful operations and closure of Tank 12 is another significant step forward toward a bright future for SRS. Today we are recognizing the 20th anniversary of the operation of the Defense Waste Processing Facility and the operational closure of high-level waste tank storage uh, to Tank Number 12. Both of these milestones continue to demonstrate that we are delivering results for the country and we are reducing risk to our communities. Since it began operations on March 12, 1996, the Defense Waste Processing Facility, or commonly known as DWPF, has been immobilizing high-level Cold War legacy waste into a glass form in 10-foot tall stainless steel canisters suitable for safe, long-term disposal. To date, DWPF has poured just over 4,000 canisters. Tank 12 is an old-style tank constructed between 1951 and 1953. It was closed ahead of the May 31, 2016 deadline set in the Federal Facility Agreement between the Department of Energy, or DOE, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control. Employees of Savannah River Remediation, the DOE liquid waste contractor at the Savannah River site, were recognized for a job well done and for working safely. Tom Foster, Savannah River Remediation President and Project Manager, recognized this celebration as a testimony to the employees who operate the liquid waste program at the Savannah River site. If you've been part of the DWPF construction or operation over those years, been part of the tank closures. You should be proud of that work. It's a noble mission. It's important to the site. It's important to the nation. And, and quite frankly, just for a little bit of a global perspective, it, it's important to our industry across the world. So I think you can really take pride on that. You need to take that home and, and realize what, what you've done. Savannah River Remediation, its parent company, AECOM, and contractor partners, Bechtel, CH2M, and BWX Technologies, are working to protect people and the environment by accomplishing the liquid waste mission safely, assuring a safer future for our communities, the state of South Carolina, and our nation.